Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to talk about all of the chocolate fragrances that I have in my collection. So um, I don't have a ton, I do have quite a few, but I have more than I thought I did uh, because chocolate has to be done in a certain way uh, for me to like it. Um, some chocolate perfumes just smell uh, like too synthetic for me. Um, I think I prefer more of like a cocoa note or a dark chocolate note than I do like a really sweet milk chocolate note. But anyways, I do have, yeah, I've got quite a few and I've got one honorable mention that I don't believe it's actually got chocolate in it, but it smells like chocolate to me. So I went ahead and included it. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'm going to jump right in. The first one that I have is Orchidée Vanille from Van Cleef and Arpels. Um, this... This is a beautiful vanilla fragrance, but it does have a very, um, it does have a very prominent kind of powdered dark cocoa note in it. And I love it. Um, this is one of the fragrances I have in my collection that the chocolate actually lasts. Um, you can actually smell it on your skin for a long time. A lot of time chocolate just kind of fades into nothing. Um, you can smell it like when you first spray it, but then a lot of time it just doesn't hang around on the skin. It actually does in this one and it's really really beautiful. This is a pretty complex fragrance. It's got a ton of notes in it um, but I get a lot of chocolate and a lot of vanilla in this one and I really love it. This one is a beast on me. Now it's funny because I said um, I've been saying in my recent videos talking about testers because I'm fully convinced now that testers are <laughs> made better than normal perfumes and I've had a lot of people tell me that this that they love this fragrance but that it doesn't last on them. It's always been a really really good performer for me. Um, I've always had really good luck with Orchidée Vanille. I can spray this on in the morning and I'll still smell it eight hours later easily um, but I do have a tester bottle so I'm wondering yeah I'm wondering if my tester bottle performs better than like the normal bottles um, that a lot of you are wearing that it's not performing well for you. So anyways, yeah, that is Van Cleef and Arpels Orchidée Vanille. Really, really beautiful vanilla fragrance, but with a gorgeous like dark powdered chocolate note in it. This next one is another beautiful fragrance, but with a really gorgeous powdery dark chocolate note in it. This is Meleg Very Cherry Rose Chocolate Patchouli and this is one of those that you have to wear it on your skin to experience the magic of it. Um, you can't, you don't get a lot of the chocolate out of the bottle, but when this is on the skin and after it dries down, it starts radiating this beautiful powdered dark cocoa note that does not get overpowered by the patchouli or the rose. Um, it's just beautiful. I love this fragrance. This is a crowd pleaser. Every time I wear this fragrance, I just get tons of compliments. People just love it. Um, but yeah, this is one that, and it's funny because for the, for a while, for the first maybe, for the first maybe four months that I had this or so, um, I didn't really notice the chocolate in it at all. This is one of those that really needed to sit though and macerate and everything married together really well. I just, this one just had to sit and macerate for a while for it to come into its full um, power. <laughs> and it is now, and it is so beautiful. This is one that now that it has really macerated, the first time that I wore this after I had let it sit for some months, um, I really got that chocolate note like very prominent on my skin and it was the most beautiful like powdered dark cocoa note. He uses like the best materials. He uses such high quality materials. Yeah, he uses the best quality materials. So the chocolate note is such a high quality cocoa note. I just love this. I love this fragrance so much. I've been wearing the heck out of it this winter. Just been obsessed with it. So anyways, that is Melag Very Cherry Chocolate Rose Patchouli. Next, I have a ganache fragrance. This is white chocolate ganache from Ganache. And uh, I love this. This has got some other things in it, but this is definitely like, it's definitely a white chocolate based fragrance. Um, this is one that it's not like a powdery cocoa or like a dark chocolate powdered cocoa fragrance. This is more of a very sweet, like milky chocolate. 
Um, I don't have a lot of these in my collection, but this one I really, really enjoy. This is one of the fragrances that is more of like a synthetic, milky chocolate fragrance that I actually enjoy. And this is the one fragrance in my collection that is just like a super fun, very sweet, very milky, like synthetic chocolate fragrance, but I really, really enjoy it. So this one's great for layering too. You can layer this with something a little bit more spicy or a little bit more dry. It just layers really well with things like that. So anyways, that is white chocolate ganache. I really like that one. Next we have one that isn't, yeah, this is one that I really, really enjoy. This is Prada Candy Night, and this has a beautiful, again, kind of a dark chocolate kind of cocoa note. This has a lot of florals in it though, so I would say this is predominantly, predominantly a floral fragrance, but it's got this really beautiful, like powdered dark chocolate note in it. I really, really like this one. This is one that's great. Like if you're in the mood for kind of a warm, slightly darker kind of floral fragrance, this one's great. I just wore this one a couple weeks back because I didn't want, and I was in the mood for something like not super heavy, but I still wanted something really warm and cozy smelling. And this just fit the bill perfectly. It's slightly sweet, again, more of a floral fragrance, but it's like a slightly sweet floral with this really beautiful dark powdered dark chocolate base to it. Um, I really enjoy this one. So anyways, that is Prada Candy Night. And then this could not be a chocolate video without this beauty. This is Al Rahab Choco Musk. Um, I had a lovely subscriber just send me over three of these, which I was so happy because these are out of stock in a lot of places. Um, I need to rebuy the spray perfume because I really enjoyed the spray perfume as well. This is more of like a sweet, um, it's a very sweet chocolate, but this is a ton of vanilla. So this is like a sweet, chocolate and vanilla fragrance it's so beautiful it's like a creamy more creamy vanilla with some chocolate added to it it's really beautiful this one is balanced really really well this is beautiful by itself or wonderful for layering it's just a great like workhorse chocolate fragrance like just a really really good one um it's one of my favorite chocolate fragrances in my collection it's just such a good fragrance like just such a good chocolate fragrance it's really sweet it's really creamy it's very mild smelling it's not um it's not overly synthetic smelling either it's super cozy and warm and comforting it's just a wonderful chocolate fragrance like it's definitely hands down one of my favorites in my collection I just wear the heck out of this, and so does my daughter. She loves this fragrance. She really loves to put this all over. Um, she'll even put it in her hair sometimes. She loves it. So anyways, that is Choco Musk from Al Rahab. Such a staple. Okay, next we have got this guy. I love this fragrance. This is called Dark Chocolate Rum and Vanilla. This is from Dua, and I believe this is the clone of uh, Guerlain Gourmand Coquine. I love this fragrance. This is a boozy chocolate. This is all about, oh my gosh, yes. This is all about the rum and like a straight up melted dark chocolate bar. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like if you took a Hershey special dark chocolate bar, melted it in a pan and put a whole bunch of rum in with it that's what you would get. It's so, so good. Now, um, let me talk about the performance of some of these. So yeah, let me go all the way back. Well, we talked about, um, so the Van Cleef and Arpels Orchidea Vanille, as well as the Meleg Berry Cherry Chocolate Rose Patchouli. Both of those are beast fragrances on me. They last absolutely forever. Um, the White Chocolate Ganache is not, does not perform very well on me. I think I got maybe a couple hours out of this. Um, same with the Prada Candy Night. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. I can get maybe three to four hours out of out of a Prada Candy Night. Um, it's it lasts a little bit longer than the original Prada Candy, but it's still not the best. Um, Choco Musk will last actually quite a long time, um, especially this oil version. It I can easily get I don't know four or six hours out of this before I would need to reapply. Um, I love it. It's just such a great little perfume. 
Um, this is probably the one duo in my collection that is not a complete beast. This one, yeah, this one will last, uh, I don't know. I haven't, I don't know that I've given it a good wear test since it's really fully macerated. Um, so I need to do that, but I think when I wore this, I got maybe six hours out of it or so. It wasn't horrible by any means, um, but by Dua standards, it was like it performed a little less well than all of the other Dua's that I have. But oh my gosh, do I love this. It's such a beautiful, boozy, dark chocolate fragrance. So anyways, that is dark chocolate rum and vanilla from Dua. Okay, this next one is probably my most favorite chocolate fragrance that I have in my collection, hands down. I'm obsessed with this. I've been wearing it like crazy this whole winter. This is Wicked Good from Gallagher Fragrances. Um, yeah, this is by far my favorite chocolate fragrance ever. And I don't think that there's any way to see what's left in here, but that's okay. I'll just try to not overuse it. Oh my gosh, yes, this is like my favorite chocolate fragrance, hands down. Um, this is, it's like right on the edge of being like a powdered cocoa note. It's still this really beautiful, like dark chocolate, like melty dark chocolate with like the, the slightest touch of a cocoa note or the slightest touch of a powderiness. This is very very tonka heavy though the tonka and the chocolate mixed together and then with the madagascar vanilla it is just incredible i love this fragrance so much this is a beast on me it does wear closer to the skin so it's not like gonna project like crazy but i can spray this on in the morning and i will smell it all day i can smell it on my clothing all day i can smell it on my skin all day i mean it's just like a it's a crazy good performing fragrance. It just wears closer to the skin. So anyways, yeah, this is hands down my favorite chocolate fragrance in my collection. Um, I could not live without this. I don't know how I lived without it for so long. And yeah, I'm just so happy that I finally picked up a full bottle of it. So anyways, that is Wicked Good from Gallagher Fragrances. This next one is weird. Um, it's weird to think that this has chocolate in it, but it definitely does. This is CK1 Shock For Her from Calvin Klein. And this is like a, it's like a bright fruity fragrance, but it's got a creaminess to it and it's got a really beautiful dark cocoa note in it, which really kind of grounds it. I have mostly tested this in warm weather because it's always seemed like a warm weather fragrance to me because it's, so bright and sweet and fruity. I think this is gonna be amazing in cold weather too though. Yeah, I really need to pull this out and uh, leave it out and give it a good wear test. I will do that this week and then I'll talk about it a little bit more in my in a what I wore last week video. But yeah, this is a beautiful, like fruity fragrance, but with a really nice creamy aspect to it. And this really beautiful kind of dusty um, powdered chocolate note. So anyways, that is CK1 Shock for her. Okay, next we have this one that like just came into my life and it is one of the best chocolate fragrances like ever. It is by far the most unique chocolate fragrance ever and this is definitely a more dark powdered chocolate, not at all sweet um, kind of chocolate fragrance. This one is called uh, Chocolate Earth from Untamed and Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is a very earthy, like a very earthy fragrance. It really does smell like, like fresh soil. It's got a mushroom note in it. It's very, very prominent. It is like, I mean, this is by far one of the most unique fragrances I've ever smelled. It's got this beautiful fresh soil smell with powdery mushrooms growing out of the soil and the powdery mushrooms are dusted with dark chocolate cocoa powder. That's exactly what this smells like. It is so beautiful. This one warms on the skin beautifully. Um, it's just stunning. It's, de it's by far the most unique chocolate fragrance I have in my collection and I just adore it. 
So anyways, I couldn't do a video without talking about Chocolate Earth. It's just such an incredible chocolate fragrance. And then next, this one is new to my collection. This is the new Billie Eilish fragrance. Um, this one, let me get this sucker out. I've been keeping it in its box. I don't know why, because I usually don't ship things in their boxes, even if I do um, resell them. But yeah, this is the new Billie Eilish fragrance. This one I'm going to do a full review on. This one again, it's more about, it's more of a like powdered chocolate note rather than like a milk, you know, a sweet milk chocolate, um, which I really do like. I like that about this. I think that there's something about this that is like maybe the rose. I think there's some rose in this. And I feel like the rose is just not playing well with the vanilla and the chocolate i don't know it's just not my favorite but it does have a nice um it does have like a like a dark chocolate kind of powdered yeah kind of like a powdered dark chocolate note i'm still i'm still working with this one we're gonna see i'm i really want to make this one work because i really like this bottle and I love the idea of this fragrance, so I just, I really want to make it work, but I'm going to hang on to it. I also feel like this is one that needs to age a little bit, and I believe that with aging, you know, maybe four or five months, I feel like this one's going to get better with age. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hang on to it for a while. We're going to see. I will have a full review coming of this one, but yeah, this does have kind of, um, powdered cocoa note in it. And then last but not least is my honorable mention. This fragrance I don't think has actual chocolate in it, but it smells like it does. Um, this is La Maison de la Vanille, Vanille Noir du Mexique. Um, I love this fragrance. This is... This is my favorite one out of all of the ones that I have. I think I've got four or five of these now. This is my favorite one. This, I don't think it's got chocolate in it, but it smells like it's got a dark chocolate, like a dark powdered chocolate note in the base. It's beautiful. It smells like vanilla and chocolate on my skin, and I love it. Um, it's got other things in it. I think it's got some florals in it. It's got some other things in it as well, but I love it. It smells like chocolate to me. Um, so anyways, yeah, I just wanted to give this one a mention because I think every time I talk about this one, I talk about how it smells like chocolate to me. It smells like vanilla and chocolate and, you know, some other things. And the fact that I don't think it actually has chocolate in it. But I did want to mention it because to me it smells like chocolate. So anyways, that is La Maison de la Vanille, Vanille Noir du Mexique. And that is going to be it, guys. Those are all of the chocolate fragrances that I have in my collection. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.